Xin Ma, you have forgotten me. No. How could I? You have forgotten who you are. You are more than what you have become. How can I go back? I'm not who I used to be. You are my son. Remember who you are. Oh. We're not actually playing the game and talking. Shoot a gun, right, dog. Learn how to shoot a gun. Fucking rocket shield. What else am I gonna? I'm a riot shield. I'm a fucking use riot shield. Oh, I, I'm a fuck. What the fuck do you want me to use? You tell me what you want me to use. You tell me what you want me to use. You tell me what you want me to use. What a fucking homo. You a homo. What the fuck do you want me to use? What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering, and uh, the virtue signaling is getting insane. With, uh, of course. We reach peak cringe in um, in June of every year because that is when, of course, we have Pride Month for the entire month and brands just absolutely love to stand on the LGBTQ community to sell their wares. Look, a lot of people maybe don't know exactly what virtue signaling means, but it's really just, you know, it's expressing opinions or thoughts um, that really outwardly, dis you know, say, hey, I'm a good person. But where I say that's funny is like, you know, it gets reduced down to the ridiculous of, uh, I believe good things are good and bad things are bad. And then, you know, please like and retweet. And it, it's very popular for c corporations to do this and sell it. And uh, it's just so ridiculous. Um, I don't really need Microsoft to tell me that bad things are bad, but apparently a ton of idiots do. People need to just read more books. I think that's what people need to do. And in fact, I have a book for you to check out right now before we get into this story. Check it out. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Inhuman by Eric Leland. Look, I don't often do a lot of book sponsorships, but I mean, just look at this dude with his handlebar mustache and his gigantic beard. How could I say no? Here's what you need to know about the actual book. Inhuman is a military themed supernatural thriller. A special forces team trapped on enemy lines is hunted by one of their own when he is possessed by a demon. Features a female character who actually suffers for her goals. Think about how rare that is. That's That should be an auto buy right away. The author is an Iraq War veteran who wrote the book specifically to entertain troops who are stuck on a fob waiting for combat to happen. Eric is also an actual subscriber of The Quartering. And so I would argue that if you're looking for a good book to read, you know, the author said I could be as casual as I wanted. And that's super rare um, to go out and reach out and support. Um, if you read the book, and I hope that you do, you can pick it up on Kindle or Amazon or Goodreads. Um, make sure you leave a review for it too. Um, huge shout out to Eric. I love talking to my viewers who uh, are, are doing something like this, creating culture. And that's exactly what uh, I'm always talking about, which is why you should support Inhuman by Eric Leland. Link in the description and pin comment below. That's right, check out In Plain Sight, a viewer of the channel and author, support the channel and support your brain by reading some books. Now, um, Don Lemon, the Lemonhead, Don Lemon, international news reader, Don Lemon even says, Democrats must stop virtue signaling. It's not about who's more woke. You know why they're saying that is because it's getting to this level and I'll show you the reaction what did 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 xbox just block me what what that just happened in real time <laughs> what oh my god literally what all i did was say studying and brave oh my lord well uh -huh. It's not like I don't have multiple Twitter accounts. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just get back on to that. All righty. So I can't even believe it. Come on, Xbox. So yesterday they put out uh, hashtag pride. Hate has no place in the Xbox community. Full stop. And in a stunning and brave manner, they blocked all replies and 
they just blocked me for literally saying all I said was stunning and brave. Let's look at just a few of the replies. F off, Corpo. Suck my la la la, Bill Gates. Um, I knew you people weren't talking. Then I saw that you disabled comments, which shows y'all don't even believe this BS. Buzz off, clowns. Talk about not understanding your customer base. Thanks for making my day. Like, my God, I have never had such a good laugh in such a long time. I mean, this is just amazing. I truly am thankful for this joke you've shown me. Nobody, nobody, 21 more days until July 1st. I mean, are you joking? I mean, they, have they ever even been in an one of their own Call of Duty lobbies? Have they ever even played any one of their games? I've never even been called the... the well, I think the first time... I'm dead serious. I think the first time I ever heard the N-word was someone calling me that in a Call of Duty uh, lobby. Or the bundle of sticks words. I, I, I learned most of this, this, the curse words and slurs that I know now from Xbox. I, I just... I mean... It's, it's, hey, Alphabet people, look how much we quit. We care. Please buy our stuff. No one working in Xbox has actually ever been in an Xbox Live lobby. And it just goes on and on and on and on. This is why they're saying, like, Lemon, I'm sorry, international newsreader Don Lemon told co-anchor, also newsreader Chris Cuomo, the more people see of Obama, the better. Suggesting people have been asking for clarification about some of the decisions he made, um, you know, during president, blah, blah, blah. So then he goes, I want to get to the actual quote here. Where is this? Stop all the virtue signaling. Lemon goes on to suggest that Democrats are more concerned about who's more on their side when they should be more like, more cunning like Republicans. They need to stop, fo they need to focus more on winning elections rather than winning arguments. He added, stop all the virtue signaling and win. That's it. It's as simple as that. I mean, yeah, everyone knows that. But corporations, I mean, I can't, oh my God, I literally can't believe they blocked me. I can't think of a place where hate has more of a place than Xbox. How very, very courageous they are, believing in their customer, believing in their customer base when they don't just let anyone reply to this post. What's wrong? Afraid someone will be able to not be able to take some mean words on the internet? What a joke. I mean, the, I, I don't see a single, where are the positive replies? I, I None. None. Neither do the replies. Someone should tell them they are decades late. Just wait till July 1st. Say something ridiculous. Comments disabled. Pandering. How brave. I'll stick to my PC where they aren't little punks. I mean, I, I just... <laughs> don't change it when June ends. Even like the Borg is starting to wake up and see that this is just brand garbage. Eat garbage, full stop. Unlock the comments, you cowards. I was making, f I make fun of everybody, so shut up. Let's consult the Call of Duty 4 voice logs, shall we? I mean, what? I can't believe they blocked me. I feel hated right now. I truly do. I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean, God dang, just sell us the hardware and stop with this garbage. We'll talk to you again real soon.